Divine Mercy Sunday Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, His love is everlasting. Today's Gospel is from John 2019 19-31. Now when it was late that same day, the first of the week, and the doors were shut, where the disciples were gathered together, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst, and said to them, Peace be to you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples therefore were glad, when they saw the Lord. He said therefore to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father hath sent me, I also send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them, and he said to them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whose sins you shall forgive, they are forgiven them, and whose sins you shall retain, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, who is called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Jesus cometh, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be to you. Then he saith to Thomas, Put in thy finger hither, and see my hands, and bring hither thy hand, and put it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Thomas answered, and said to him, My Lord, and my God. Jesus saith to him, Because thou hast seen me, Thomas, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen, and have believed. Many other signs also did Jesus in the sight of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing, you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel today, recounts two post-resurrection appearances of Jesus to his disciples and Thomas's initial doubt. This passage is about 1. Fear and Reassurance The disciples, gathered in a room with locked doors for fear of the Jews, experienced the sudden presence of Jesus. His greeting of peace be with you serves to alleviate their fears and reassure them of his continued presence. 2. Commission and Breath of the Spirit Jesus commissions the disciples, breathing on them and saying, Receive the Holy Spirit. This act symbolizes the impartation of spiritual authority and empowerment for their future ministry. 3. Thomas Doubt Thomas, absent during Jesus' first appearance, expresses skepticism about the resurrection. He states that he would only believe if he sees and touches the wounds of Jesus. 4. Thomas Confession When Jesus appears again, Thomas is present. Jesus invites him to touch his wounds, leading to Thomas's profound confession, My Lord and my God. This moment highlights the transformation of doubt into a powerful declaration of faith. 5. Blessed are those who believe without seeing. Jesus acknowledges the faith of those who believe without the need for physical proof. This statement extends the invitation to future generations, emphasizing the blessedness of faith that transcends the tangible. And 6. Purpose of the Gospel The passage concludes with the purpose statement of John's Gospel, emphasizing that its accounts are written to inspire faith in Jesus as the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this faith, believers may have life in His name. In summary, John 2019-31 explores themes of fear, doubt, and the transformative power of encountering the risen Christ. It underscores the importance of faith, the gift of the Holy Spirit, and the purpose of the Gospel in leading people to a belief in Jesus as the Son of God. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we stand in the presence of doubt and witness the transformation of skepticism into profound faith, grant us the grace to believe without always seeing. In our moments of uncertainty, 
may the peace of Christ fill our hearts, and the assurance of your spirit empower us for the journey. Like Thomas, help us to declare with conviction, my Lord and my God. Guide us, Lord, on the path of unwavering faith and grant us the blessed assurance of life in your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.